All right, guys, what's going on? Brian back with another live stream. How's everybody doing tonight? So we are back continuing our playthrough of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, last episode, we took down the rest of smuggling. We got Nydia out of the country on our side. And all we have left, guys, is security. We're, uh, we're getting there. The cartel has almost been completely demolished. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be jumping in. Now, I when I logged in, because obviously I'd like to log in to the game. And well, you guys ain't got to wait for it to boot up. And when I did start the game up, um, Bowman started talking and I couldn't stop her from talking. She uh, pretty much said that the we got to find that guy's body, the Ramirez dude. And it spawned in a mission like right here. Um, Stan Doval's body. Uh, the, pretty much the whole reason why we're here, the DEA agent. And she said that, you know, the cartel um, has his body and that they know, you know, they have ways of getting, making bodies disappear. And she was like, look, you got to get the body back. Um, <clears throat> so that is actually in the providence of uh, Stan Mateo that we're going to be starting to take down security. And so I was like, oh, that's perfect. And there's, um, there's major intel there. So I was like, <laughs> two birds, one stone, right? Um, so yeah, we're going to be jumping in doing that but first things first one of the things i wanted to do was i want to get the 30 round magazine for my rifle here because i only have the 20 and the 50 just looks too ridiculous I, I even though like i understand like i shouldn't care about like but i can't do it guys it just looks too stupid for me to like i just can't do it i don't know i, I just can't do it I can't do it. You can call me a gun princess, whatever you want. I, I just can't do it. So I'm going to go and get the 30 round mag. Um, and that is here in La Cruz. So uh, I already came over to La Cruz. We're going to hop in this helo that was already here. And then I'm going to fly to this location. We'll grab this intel because I got to get I got to get the intel and figure out where the, the weapons and shit even are in this area. It's the correct one. Yeah. It, well, I haven't even located it yet, so we're going to fly. Yeah, I was another thing. I was sitting. I, I did figure that out. Actually, I, I forgot to turn the tier back on. I was messing around. So I did figure out, figure out how to level down the tiers. Yeah, when you hit that thing, there's a button that props up here, and you actually have to click it. Um, uh, I was also messing around with that. So where is this town at? Right there. Right, so we'll land right in this field back here, nice and clear. Pedro, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much, man. How you doing today? Okay, so this kind of sucks the top. It's on the other side of the road, but it looks like this is actually a cartel stronghold. I got one narco over by that stack of tires. It is thick as hell right here. So I would hop this wall, but I don't know what I'm going to land on. So we'll keep going this way. Okay, perfect. Yeah, definitely a cartel stronghold here.
I got a target carrying submachine guns. Hold up, they're gonna spot you. Somebody might have heard that. Is that cartel? Yep. The lieutenant's trying to escape. Got some questions for you, asshole. I don't get paid enough for this shit, cabron. I'll tell you. We call I'm shooting these fuckers. There we go. That didn't go as smooth as it could have, but hey. It is what it is. We got it done. Alright, so now we got to get one more piece of intel. There is another piece here, but that is a LT. Let's see if we got the guys light up his car. Light them up, boys! Ready to engage. Ready? Open fire. I copy. Got him. We're cool. We're cool. Easy. Come in. Got some questions for you, asshole. I don't get paid enough for this shit, cabron. I'll tell you. Alright. So we just got some new weapon information. Let's see what's on this in the cruise. Okay, so there's our 30 round that we're going for. Extended PMAG. Um, SPAS 12. Foregrip V3. Uh, 1891. That's pretty unique. A uh, large 50 round mag for 7.62 rifles and a P90. Okay, so this is what we, we, we're here for. 30 round mag. I'm at the gym. Watching get hey, There it is. Let's ride. Hey, Kevin, at least you're at the gym, man. Grab this 30 round mag, baby! Oh shit. Hold on. Unit dead.
Why has it always got to be Unidad, man? I was like, you know what? I'll just drop in real quick. We'll just run over to it. Come on, get me up, get me up, get me up. Fuck took you so long. Sniper! Fucking hell! Hang in there, I'm coming your way. Got it. Nice with my boots. Frag. Took you long enough. And now even if we lose, it's all good because we got what we needed. With me, man, I'll be right there. Hang tight. I'm man down, man down. Thanks. I got you, man. Just hold on. Man, if you shot straight, I wouldn't get fucked up. Sniper up in the tower. There it is. Nomad, this is Matchwood. This is Nomad. Go ahead. I'm in position. Here are my coordinates. He's trolling. Like, out of all people, why would you fucking message me, bro? No one, I don't want nothing to do with you. Sam Fisher. Yeah, in this case, you know the whole, like, no man left behind? We're just leaving, like, a couple people behind. It's fine. They're, they're SF dudes. They, they, it doesn't count. You're, you're not really leaving them behind. You're just... They get out on their own, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's no such thing as leaving an SF dude behind. They 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 they'll find they find their way. All right, so let's head. Um, well, first let's get my new magazine on the rifle. There we go. Now we got the thirty round. Ah, uh, much better, dude. Yeah, see, I could do that. I can't do the fifty though. It just it's too much, guys. And then let's go ahead and get over to. San Mateo. So I actually don't have any of the Okay, we got a we got a we got a spot here. We actually got a spot here. This is way closer to where we need to go. Now, I remember we flew through San Mateo when we were doing that um Future Soldier mission. I believe that was a region we flew through, and there's tons of air defense. So we got to be careful going through this region. Probably be grounded for the most part. All right, so we are going to we'll redeploy for the daytime. Grim, hey, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? Well, the thing about it, uh, the, what they told us when we landed in country, Russian, was um, that we we are not supposed to be use, leaving any footprint 
So there's like no American footprint whatsoever in this conflict. So in the beginning, she was like, you know, you're going to have to use all the stuff that we acquire and use. We have to get in the field. You know what I mean? So that's what we've been doing. We've been making the most out of the equipment we've been getting here. All these weapons that we have, these high, these are all Unidad weapons. I got it. I'll fly. Nope. We won't mess with it. We'll just take the minivan. Oh, Rickster, how you doing? And Will, how you doing? I'll drive. Okay, so we're gonna mark this. We have intel pointing to the possible location of Agent Sandoval's remains. Search the area, and if you find his body, mark it for retrieval. Let's do what we can to bring Sandoval home. No man left behind. Right, champ. since I was in a sandbox. Sandbags, barbed wire, observation posts. The rebels must have been giving Santa Blanca hell. Bet these cartel assholes never thought they'd be spending their time dodging snipers and IEDs. Karma sure can be a bitch sometimes. Right, we'll pull off the road here for a sec. Got the area. Deploying drone. Really? The signal's all bad. They're jamming the drone. I got a Sicario over here. In the firing post. The jamming us. Chris, with the five gifted members. Holy crap, brother. Thank you so much, man. And uh, to all of you guys that grab one of the memberships, hey, make sure you get some hearts in the chat for Chris showing mega love. It's so nice of you, dude. I really appreciate that, man. Chris, you've been showing so much love lately, dude. It, it really means a lot. Yo, cartel gunman, near that stack of tires. Yeah, so this is the real deal. They got we're jammed up. Um jamming us. What if there's is there any elevation in the area? We could go up high like convoy. So maybe we could go up on a but that's like kind of far away, that mountain ridge right there. Could go up on the back side of the base, get us a little bit of elevation over there. We'll hit the high ground I up over there. Narco, near the container. The mountain, so we could we could get some eyes in. Cause yeah, I can't see shit from this angle. And I can't drone it. Oh shit, we can't even get in there without a Santa Blanca vehicle anyways. They got one of those gates. What's up? It's a pretty uh, nasty spot here. Alright, got eyes on a sniper. Let's take him out. We got a mounted weapon. We're gonna have to swap off. The, I love this ghost camo, but um, keeps glitching on our guns. Q 
keeps glitching out our gun. What the fuck is that? What are, you see those arms on me? What is that? Where where are those? How did I, but how were they on me? That, that's what I want to know. Like, how were they just on me and now they're not? Like, it must have been some type of glitch. That's crazy. All right, we'll grab this. Oh. Good. I think they found their pal. Ow. Oh. Yep. Oh, I fucking missed. Got him. We're gonna go lay low for a couple minutes. Looks like more Sicarios want to get some. Fuck, they're coming right at us. Must have been a second guy in the tower, and from the angle, I couldn't see him. He must have been. They must have had two guys in the tower. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the jammers. In a drone's being jammed. Yeah, so the reinforcements are down on the main road there. We're going to swing around this side and we should be able to stay in the clear. Okay, we're still good. It's getting quiet over there. They must think we left. Yeah, they're over there in my vehicle. Whole group of them. Yo, cartel gunman, near that turret. Okay, nice, easy infiltration from the backside here. Let's try to get eyes. Damn, these guys got mortars. Intel's in this building. No eyes on the body. I might be able to shut the, uh... I 
This is our AO. This isn't the first time we've had to recover the dead. You know what to look for. Okay, we took out the tube. I want to free these rebels, but I also don't want them to stir shit up. Because the thing is, is when the enemy's not stirred up, they're predictable. When I, If I let these guys out, I have no control over what these are going to do or what the enemy's going to do. So I might leave them in there for a little bit. I don't really need the uh, distraction right now. Big mortar. Go grab this intel. Got a reference here to a large cartel prison at a village called Rosario. They keep a lot of rebel sympathizers there. Even the sloppiest prisons keep records. Yeah. The warden's office might have intel on some of these people who disappeared. Let's check it out. Turn his drone jammer off and then I can uh, scout for the body with my drone instead of moving around the camp. I think the body's going to be in there. Him. Unless Sandoval had Selena tattooed on his neck, this isn't him. This isn't our guy. Is there another container in here? I got their Jenny over here. Heads up, we got a turret. Let's see another container. 
Heads up, we got a turret. I don't think they'd be in the armory, right? Oh, there's a container up here. Nope, that's boxes. I'm gonna have to clear the stamp camp out so I can move around freely on foot. I'm moving to position. The guys in the bunkers aren't that big of a deal. We got one narco target acquired. Inside the firing post. Take them out, no problem. It's these just a couple guys that are still Roger, moving around acquired. the outside. Kill confirmed. Here we go. There's a cartel commendation here. Check these other containers. Close container up ahead. Watch my six. Got you. Is that our guy? Got him. He's here. Fuck. So to see a man like that end up like this. His kin will be glad we found him. Bowman will too. Bowman? We've located Sandoval's body. I'm sending you the location now. Thank you. I'll send a team to pick him up. Just want to make sure he gets home. Unfortunately, I know the feeling. No matter how. Damn. I don't, I don't know why, but I had like a feeling that maybe like Sandoval would be okay. You know what I mean? Like, like maybe he really didn't die. Nice. He, he was dead, dead. Your buddies are about to join you. We're good to go. Alright, place should be clear. Let's let release these rebels. Okay, so we took care of business. We also got uh, a little bit of intel. Rosario Village has been turned into a cartel prison camp. Search the warden's office for intel on the prisoners who've been held there. It might give us a lead on the disappearances. Okay. We have a cartel chopper right down the road that we can snag. Hang on, I'll drive. I mean, my man's All eyeballs right, were like go. popping out of his head, you know what I mean? It was rough. No way to go. You know what? We'll just we'll just head down the road. We should better just stay on, stay in this car. We should be okay.
Nothing wrong with a little bit of, you know, when you're rolling with the with with the boys, you know. Rolling with the boys. And the whip. You do any Wildlands multiplayer co-op? Um, I, I've only done it like once, Chris. Um, uh, so mainly I, I just been playing solo. Chris, brother, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. What's the play? Same as before. Get inside, find the warden's office, search for intel on the missing people. There have to be answers behind those walls. Let's move. Alarm over here. Nice. We got a mounted weapon. So there's only the. I could probably hit that alarm, no problem, from this rock ridge here. There's. Getting him to a good sight line. There's a patrol here, though. We'll have them taken out. Target eyes on the target. I need to get to a better position. Roger that. Target marked. Engaging tangos. Generator spotted. We want to shut off the power. Spotting another tango. And baby makes three. Alright. So I'm redeploying here. I want to do this at night. I feel it'd be a little easier. So we're mainly here to just sneak in somebody's office, grab some intel. So we don't need to do a full clear. Drone is airborne. Roger, I need a better position. Target acquired. Target. Shit, I gotta target. find a good position. Say the word. He's down. We're good. We got hostiles in the area. Yo, cartel gunmen, at the entrance to the camp. Got another tango. I don't got turret. Alarm over here. Alarm is off. Sicario over here I see by the camp target. entrance.
look at him getting all skittish in the dark. I got a third. That's got to be the warden's office. If there are any prisoner records, they'll be in there. We need to get inside and see what we can find. Matthew Jones, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. What, this right here, where I'm at right now, is the warden's office? We got a PC over here. If there's a record of the prison's inmates, it's here. No time to be choosy. We'll download every document. Download started. Stay alert, people. Download complete. Let's exfil and get the data to Bowman. Hopefully there's something here we can use. It's kind of pretty clean insert. Okay, so now we got to get the hell out of here. Um... Uh, sniper, long barrel, PSG, G28. Wonder if that's any good. So we got another intel right here we can get to pretty quick. There's also one down here to the south. We'll actually hit this one. G28 your favorite sniper? Is it better than the SR25? Now we gotta get out, guys. on two Sicarios, over by the crate of Con Green. A couple vehicles down there, we could take a lot of guys down there. Those look like civilians, actually. Yep, Watch civvies. We don't want to hit any civilians. Right, we actually might be okay coming down this way. It looks like there's civilians. The base seems like it's only on that top part. Beautiful. Let's go. just pulled up. Got it. Okay, we're cool. 
Looks like the cartel's keeping high-value prisoners at a place called La Carcel del Pueblo. That's up in the hills. These Post on with the super chat, brother. Thank you so much. About the people who disappeared. Yeah, so we played stalk. We started stalker anomaly. Now the problem is, I didn't want to jump right into gamma because I did research before, and gamma is very, very hardcore. And 99.9% .9 of the things I see, people said, that's not the way you want to experience the game for the very first. I've never played Stalker before in my life, so, you know what I mean? That's like me being like, telling a person who's, you know, never played State of K, oh, play Lethal Zone, you know, like right off the bat. Like, granted, it is a better way to experience, but not for like a person. I, I would have probably rage quit if I would have tried that mod first. Because uh, just Stalker Anomaly itself is crazy hard. We died probably like what fifty times, guys. It was it was bad. Um, but yeah, depending on how how it does on the channel, we'll, we will for sure be checking that out. Posta. Bro, I almost rage quit on Anomaly, brother, because it was so hard. That shit is no joke, man. Man, all of these places suck. They're all pretty damn hardcore. Alright, so we got Sniper Barrel. We do got a Hilo that we can snag up. Bad guys in the area. I got a narco over here. Oh, wow, there, this is this place is actually a really really big camp. There's no driving. It's <laughs> post up with another super jet, brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, de definitely no driving in stalker, bro. Eyes on a Jenny. That is um. Shut off their lights. That is my one advantage, right? Trying to find a way in. We got a pretty solid perimeter here. So far, no soft spots in the perimeter. Maybe right there. I think that container might be the soft spot. Huh? Oh, you can't return that shit either, right? It's no return. Not even worth it. Um, yeah, I think that might be our soft spot there. Now, the only crappy thing is... Got a station for SB's communication network. I say we knock down that door and take out their control terminal. Infiltration's on that side of the camp. And then we just got to make our way all the way around to this backside. Intel's here. We can hit the Jenny here. Try to keep it clean. Hey, we got a narco. Point him out. In the firing post.
Okay, awesome. Found an entry point in the perimeter. Power off will also disable the Sam here. And baby makes three. Down, they're gonna see you. Somebody heard that gunshot. I can put this to use. We got a Sicario. Next to the checkpoint. Got it. According to this, a journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo. She's caused enough trouble that the cartel's gonna make her disappear next. We've got her 20. Let's get to her before the Sicarios do. Okay, so we got that. Now that the Sam is disabled, I can actually... ...try to get over on top of this building to see if we can snag that Hilo. And, uh, fly out of here. And then we got the two objectives that we can knock out. We'll start Bolivian with this one. A journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo for several months. Track her down and find out what she knows. Can release these dudes to call a little, cause a little mayhem. Hang back before they spot you. Take cover. Holy shit, post on with a huge super chat, brother. Thank you so hardest working and most sensitive, brother. I really appreciate that, man. That's extremely kind of you, man. God damn, that was close. Shit balls. Ooh. I think somebody jumped into Hilo. Maybe? Where the hell is the Hilo?
It's across the way. There it is. Not my ideal helo, but hey, it'll, it'll, it'll cut it for now. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. up on the journalist's last known location. Let's track her down and find out what she knows about the missing people. We gotta figure the cartels around, looking for her too. Hola, camaradas. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to her base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. We need to get the Vera. Whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. Hand in hermanos. Are they gonna push with us? Oh, no way. Post on... That's way too much, brother. I do not deserve that, man. Now nah, you've already done so much. Post on, I really don't deserve that, man. Thank you so much. What the hell? I'm feeling a little itchy. Seriously. I, I don't even know how to start thanking you for that. That's a lot, brother. That is a lot. Guys, hearts in the chat. Post on her showing just a crazy amount of love. Uh, seriously, brother, I really do appreciate that, man. That that's that's way too much, dude. Thank you, thank you, man. That's that's a huge, huge donation, brother. Uh, Jason, welcome, brother. I don't deserve that, man. That's that's a lot, brother. Hold up, we got hostile activity. That's extremely kind of you. The drone is up. I'm moving to respond a good position. I got it. Looks like we've riled them up. We got Rebels going down. down target acquired. Cartel. What's our play? Opening fire. They've seen us. There's got to be some intel we can dig up around here. We're clear over here. Looks like they're feeling froggy. Got a tube. What even happened, dude?
Uh, 69, I appreciate you being- I, I don't even know what happened right there. Did someone- How'd she die? I, I didn't kill nobody, but I killed the bad guy. No, 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 no. I'm not getting blamed for that, chat. You could run that. You guys got the ability to play that shit back. You you could you could you could play that back. All right. I did not I did not kill her. Drone. Sniper, top Go of the to tower. tower. Moving. Let me get eyes a good sight on Target acquired. I've got eyes on the captain. Target acquired. Standing by. Here's target number five. Target lost. Let me get into position. I'm calling BS on that, guys. I didn't kill her. Copy. Target I did lost. not spray her. Get out. Get out of here. Get a bit of <laughs> I didn't do it. It's a new camaradas. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So were we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to their base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded and I don't have enough troops. You do now. You need to get the Vera. Whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. Handle hermanos. Over here. We got him. Hold up, they're going to see you. Relax, I did. Where's the rebels at? What the fuck? We got rebels throwing down with the cartel. What's our play? Fuck. We're made. Post on, no more, brother. I do you. Oh my god, that is way too much. Like I said earlier, hardest working and most entertaining. Just wait till uh, you have to talk to her fam. <laughs> I didn't do it, no way, dude. I think she, maybe she got hit by the mortar. Fucking hell, it's good to be free. You, the journalist, me llamo Lupe Vera, but I don't know if I'll stay with journalism after this shit. Post on, brother. We're working with Pakatari. Seriously, thank you so much for them. People who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. Come on, lady. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get her across the street with me. Uh, 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 hey, hey, hey. Stop. 
Stop. Give me this shit. Out of the car now. Don't so, make this harder than it has to be. Buckle up, people. He understood. Come on, get in, get in. It's not just San Mateo, you know. People are being taken from all over Bolivia, not just by the cartel. Unidad is also involved. Some officers torture and murder innocents, and then send the evidence here to be destroyed. Santa yeah. Blanca kills people all the time and leaves the bodies behind. No one cares if a sicario from a rival cartel dies. They kill a policeman? That's just the war on drugs. But the missing people? Los desaparecidos? That includes every priest or journalist who said a bad word against the cartel. Every student, bus driver, laundry woman, anyone they think might be against them. That's not just the drug war. That's a story. Damn right it is. It has to be. If Bolivians knew a tenth of the murders that the cartel and Unidad have committed, there would be rioting in the streets. The rebels would have people flooding their ranks. Hell, the rest of the world might even care. Savage. The hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. Close time. We're, we're not gonna. Stop. We're not gonna forget your name, bro. <laughs> I'm pretty it's decent at remembering names, anyways. The disappeared have all been murdered. I've got notes on some truck the cartel uses to pick up the bodies. It's supposed to have a regular route like a fucking garbage service. That's it? What about its route, its schedule? Nothing specific. Oye, amigo, this was hard enough to get as it is. I just know that the truck's last stop is a place where the cartel gets rid of the bodies. There it is. Alright, let me rearm. I used quite a bit of ammo in that last engagement. There it is. So, photograph the journalist's notes. What about my story? There are dozens of families, hundreds, who need answers to what happened to their loved ones. When we get answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios. And gracias. I'm going to wait here for Pacatari. Gracias. He literally said gracias. Hola. <laughs> Silver said, <laughs> We are lifting up our brother. <laughs> oh, oh, man. You guys are awesome. Again, thank you so much to everybody. It really means a lot. Uh, you know, all the support. I mean, look at this, guys. We're already over 200 likes on the stream. Like, that. that's big in itself. I appreciate it. Okay, let's go locate this prison. The cartel keeps its high-value prisoners at a camp up in the mountains called La Carcel del Pueblo. Liberate the prisoners and find out what they know about the disappearances. I'll pilot. We're going to be careful and make sure we don't get let's shot go. down. Let's go. This place is sketch. I would not want to go to this prison. It's really up in a mountain. Let's see, is there a better access point? Wow. Not bad, man. Building a prison using a ton of natural, like the actual environment. Wow, look at that. That looks. Cr there's 
Is there really an area like this in Bolivia? You know what I wish this game had? Repelling. Like, kind of like, uh, you could, like, set an anchor point and then, like, rappel down, like in, uh, Death Stranding. That'd be freaking so dope. Is disabled. This place sucks, man. Sniper up in the tower. Chances are, with this size operation, the jail cells unlock automatically when the power goes out. So we take out the Jenny. We gotta find it first. Come on. It's not hard from up here, dude. Okay, so yeah, this is like a prison a prison. Cartel, heavy machine gunner. Tell me where. Hanging close to the helo. Drone is airborne. I'm surprised they don't have a jammer in There's a Jenny. They got alarms rigged up. Got another tango. Sniper us. Roger. There. We're moving to a good sight line. Copy that. Moving. Roger that. I've got We're ready to call the shot. Hey, sniper on the roof. Got him. Just spotted one with submachine guns. A target carrying submachine guns. I shut the damn alarm off. Submachine gun over there near that crate of comp gear. Post on with another super chat. Anyone interested in playing Conan? Now, are you talking about that game? Uh, uh, what is it called? Conan Exiles? Because I know my little brother played that game. He said it was pretty, he used to have a lot of fun with it. It's like kind of like Rust, right? Another tango. Okay, we're still all right. Spotted. Jenny's down. Those cell doors must be unlocked. Let's talk to one of these prisoners. See what we can find out about the disappearances. Hang back. They see you. Looks like they're feeling froggy. Got real. Hey, 
Hey, I need your help with something. We've been trying to figure out what happens to the people who disappear in San Mateo. What happens to them is... El Pozolero. Stewmaker? But what does he do with the bodies? Where are they? He takes the corpses and stuffs them into oil drums, then covers them with lejia. What's the English? Lie. Caustic soda. Si. Sosa caustica. Within a few days, the bodies in the oil drums will... The stewmaker, no guys. So now we've got a name. We need more info on El Pozolero. The way to go after him. He's the only one who can lead us to any of the remains. Call him that no, man, the stewmaker. There's nothing on the missing people in there. Is there anything on El Pozolero? We've got a description of the truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside, and anybody put in the back just vanishes. Well... Got it. I've been wanting one of these. Okay, so this is the G28, guys. Um, I was, I've was i been using the SR1 right now, which is bolt action. A huge fan of this gun. It does a lot of damage. Um, then we got... My other gun I was using for a while here, which was the SR-25. This is the sniper I was using before. So now, this is the new one, the G-28. Yeah, the G-28 actually hits harder. Now, you guys told me not to really go by the stats, that the stats on that screen really doesn't mean shit. Um, so I'll give it a tat. We'll give it a check. Let me see. What does it look like? Post on with another super chat, brother. No, Brad, you just stay behind the scope. That's what I love to watch. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. Seriously, man. So this is the, it's a lot smaller of a frame. Guys, isn't the G28 in State of Decay? What is that gun there? That, or... No, I think... Is it the G28? You know the rifle, the single-fire rifle? It doesn't... It's not a super, super long-range rifle in SOD2, but... You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know if that was a G28, though. Something like that. It's got a relatively pretty long barrel. But I wouldn't see how it's... it's not all that much longer than the R5 barrel, honestly. Oh, yeah, it's got a decent barrel on it. Uh, G28 is the standard rifle of the German military. Seriously? Oh, it was the GSW. That that was the gun from SOD. Yeah, the GSW. Was it the G20? Alright, well, let's kick this out. Hey, post on. We love you too, brother. Hey, you have a great night. Have fun hanging out with the kiddo. Make sure you got some good mods on that Minecraft realm. Alright, let's see here. So we can go TX. Um, yeah, we can throw that on there. It's a good. Go semi auto only is fine. Ten round mag is fine. Add a bunch of accuracy to it with that. Range finders still don't know what the hell those even do. What do the range finders do, guys? Like, you just add accuracy, right? And range. I thought it would uh put the range on the screen for me, but it doesn't. Well, we can go long barrel there. And suppress. It's a gorgeous sniper rifle. Imagine getting the Where's the 20 round mag for this bad boy? In uh, Media Luna? Have, have we been in Media Luna yet? Yeah, we have not. But I did get intel in Media Luna. Oh, the ACR is in Media Luna. Up oh, right here. 20 round mag. 
Shit, we could probably fling up there and grab that real quick. I don't think we're in combat right now. No, we are in combat. Yeah, that's a kick-ass rifle, guys. We're good. We all in one piece? More of the, uh, it's more of the standard snipe. Gotcha, gotcha. It's a nice rifle. This is a really nice rifle. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get the twenty round mag for it, and we'll see how hard this baby hits. So here we are in. I, I might grab this ACR too. Would you guys say the ACR is better than the R5? It looks like a nice gun. Higher rate of fire, more range, better handling. That's going off the stats that you guys tell me never to go by. Um, but would you guys say the ACR is a, a pretty good gun? Cause shit, we can go for that too. It's right here. Because, yeah, we're using the R5. The only thing I don't like about the R5, guys, is it's stuck full auto. Now, granted, I've been able to manage it fairly well with, with decent trigger control. You know what I mean? Um, but obviously, when you when you you start holding on the trigger a little bit, it gets, it gets away from you. And your accuracy goes to shit. Okay, so, yeah, you know what? We'll grab a... Why not? We'll grab the ACR. We could probably grab it from the water, actually. It's pretty close. And uh, we'll grab this one here on top of the mountain. I asked Pakatari to send his vehicle. Oh, yeah. We got your helicopter. And why is it over there? Ah, uh, Posta, I appreciate the lurk, brother. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. There we go. I'll fly. Good to go. Yeah, air defense. Is, oh, come on, please don't be frickin' Unidad. This. Fucking two snipers in the tower. Sniper, top of the tower. Wow, yeah, the rate of fire on this sniper is absolutely legendary. Holy shit, bro. There's no way, man. This the rate of fire on this gun is fucking great. GG. Gotta be careful with these Unidad goons. Damn it. Thanks. Got it. Oh, 
I have to flank around. Ugh. Fucking hell. All right, team, put the work on them right here. Might call in some rebels. Target down. Put a call to the rebels for some reinforcements. Copy. Almost at your 20. I call the rebels for a diversion. We got the Kumpa. Someone's headed to that position. It's so fast, man. Yo, Minecraft is lit, guys. Um, if you play Minecraft with some with some mods, that game is freaking insane. Contact near the stack of tires. Grenade, move, move, move. Damn it, man! I was right there. I should have took my time. Oh, did I grab it? Might have got it, guys. Maybe. I heard the I heard the effect. I think I got it. Ha. <laughs> no way, dude. I did. I got it, guys. Hell yes. There it is. 20 round mag. This gun is insane. I, I really do enjoy this one quite a bit. Alright. Let's go grab this ACR. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Let's run. But I was playing Minecraft with like guns and shit, guys. Like that that's the type of Minecraft I was playing. Where you could like create giant mech robots and there was guns, you can go to the moon and other planets, and it was almost like it, 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 it kinda reminded me a lot of uh like with the, the the tech packs and shit I used to play with. It reminded me a lot of No Man's Sky. But just you know, way more in depth because of there's so much shit you could craft. Yeah, you could be like mech suits and shit. It, it was it was insane. Another unit at base, man. Roger, let me get in position. I'm getting Sniper a position. Up in the tower. Got it. Moving. I need a better position. There are some light panels here. Got the target. Target marked. Dropped him. We can get clean in and out. I'm using the G28 right now. I mean, I really I, the when I tell you the rate of fire is insane. The rate of fire is insanity. Damn it! You're giving yourself away. Shit! He knows he's taking fire. Throwing a flashbang. They're throwing a flashbang. A todas las unidades, comiencen el ataque. Firing. Grenade, move. Grenade! Grenade! I'm doing the most right now. Grab the fucking gun, dude. What am I doing? Yet. Ah, I can use this. Alright, 
let me check out this. So, this is the gun we've been using, the R5. It's been a really, really nice rifle. I want to check out this ACR now. Okay. So, this is our new... The new kid on the block. Let's see if we can dress it up. Full auto and semi-auto. I got all the mag sizes for it, so we can go 30 round on that. Let's see, it doesn't look silly. 30 round. Throw our GL on there. Laser on the side. Could even go long barrel for more accuracy and damage. Hit up with a suppressor. So that's our new baby. Nope, there it is. Hey! Post off with another super chat for the holy crap, man. Have you tried Wildlands Co-op? There's no sync shot on your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We played uh, once co-op so far, and it was a, quite a different experience. Yeah, you, you know, you gotta... If you got a person and, you know, you guys are in comms and you could, you could really... I could see where you could set up some crazy shit, but it would take a lot of time and practice and mistakes and... And things like that. Your team would have to be wound pretty tight. But yeah, I've, uh, I've done uh, one stream co-op so far. According to our intel, there's a cartel death truck that collects corpses across San Mateo and delivers them to someone called El Pozolero. Intercept the truck and force the driver to give up El Pozolero's location. Here we go. Markham Knight, how you doing? We got the stew maker. The stew maker, guys. Could you imagine being known as the stew maker and that's because you turn bodies into stew? Like, that's pretty freaking savage, man. was on the ground, dude. Come on, get me up, bro.
I'm about to turn into the fucking stew maker now. He's going the opposite direction. Hey brother, I just need to borrow your car really quick. Appreciate Sorry it. about this, brother, but I gotta have the car out. I'll drive. Go on without me. Bro, my driving is not that fucking bad, dude. Why would he jump out? These assholes are trolling me, man. Eyes on the truck. You need this fucker alive. He's already got a loaded back full of goddamn bodies. I thought he was gonna stop. You, you know what I mean? When somebody's shooting at you, like, God damn, that was close. Okay, you just get away from the truck! Get away from the truck! Go, Perry. I'm unarmed! I'm unarmed! Fucking hit me, bro. You El Pozolero. For serious? Fuck no! I'm not that Diablo. I just drive the truck, wait, nada más. Tell me his name and where to find him. His name's Raul something. Raul Morillo. You sure you want me to tell you where he is? Motherfucker, tell me where El Pozolero is. I ran out of patience two days ago. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Pero, you know, we should never found out. Bowman, this is Nomad. The driver gave us El Pozolero's real name, Raul Morillo. He also gave El Pozolero's location. Outstanding. I'll run Murillo's name and send you whatever background I can find. This one's weird, Bowman. These cartel goons are staying away from El Pozolero like he's got the plague. That might be why there's such little chatter about him. Be careful. There's a lot of unknowns here. Just make sure he's alive. Otherwise, we'll never get confirmation on these missing people. Okay, so this dude sounds like a fucking beast. Let's roll. Just got a file transfer from There we go. Looks like she... When I was a kid, we used to live over the train tracks. Every time a train went past, I would run into my mother's bed, and she'd assure me there was no such thing as monsters. She was such a liar. El Pozolero, also known as the Stewmaker. Sometimes the cartel needs a dead body to completely disappear without a trace. In such cases, they ship the cadavers off to San Mateo. The first thing El Pozolero does is place the bodies inside a barrel, which he fills with caustic soda, sodium hydroxide, then covers the drums, stirring occasionally. After 24 hours, there's nothing left but a thick sludge, a stew. He pours this into a pit. Any leftover teeth or bone fragments, he smashes into dust. Last year, more than 300 people disappeared in San Mateo. Wow. Their families have no idea if their loved ones are alive or dead. They can't have proper burials. They can't have closure. The only one who knows what truly happened to these people is El Pozolero, the monster who melted them. Jesus Christ, dude. Dracos with the super chat, brother. I hope you're having a good night as I am. Hey, I'm having a pretty good night tonight, Dracos. I really appreciate the support, brother. The super chat, man. I hope you're doing well. Oh, no way, dude. Post on with another super chat, brother. That is so, that is so much, dude. I don't know if the wifey streamed it, but she made um fried rice and uh like pot stickers. Uh for dinner. I don't know if she streamed it though. 
the post, brother. That <laughs> seriously, thank you so much, guys. Let's let, hey get them hearts in the chat. Post on our showing mega love today with just an ungodly amount of humongous super chats. Uh, first night fully crewed up in the last. Hey, I hear that. That that's what's up, Dracos. Was able to dig up some background on El Pozolero. All right, so where's this asshole? She not far from. Location on El Pozolero. Go and get this bastard and bring him. To I don't like this. We got no idea what we're walking into. I'm getting like tense, you know. Kind of like a little nervous. So Bowman said there are a lot of variables in play. There aren't a lot of variables. We just don't know what they are, so we're taking everything into account. We need a covert way in. I want to see El Pozolero before he sees us. Covert. There it is. So they want to go straight ghost on this. Oh, no. Post. Hey, brother, you do not have to do any more. Man, what you have done so, like, that's that's more than I could ever ask for in a lifetime, dude. Seriously, you've, you've done so much, man. And again, congrats on the new job, by the way. I know you said it wasn't the job that you were you were hoping for, or you were aiming for initially, but Let's uh, put this mountainside here. Oof. Say the word. I'm shooting these fuckers. Chill, 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 chill. Coming up on the cartel base now. Let's go find El Pozolero. Sicarios incoming. They're going to be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Relax. Now this place is... You hit it from the back side. Up that way. Probably be better off, you know what I mean? For sure. Back here we get better sight lines. There's the alarm going off. So we're just going to drive like really far away for a sec. Okay. 
drone is up. I got eyes on a Jenny. Looks like the potential warehouse. A lot of infiltration points here. It's a big area, but it's not like. Spotting another tango. I got a third target. Hmm. Get on this ridge line down here. Moving to Marking position to get to a better position. Moving to a better position. Eyes on the target. Roger. Target acquired. Good to go. Got him. He's down. This sniper is nasty, guys. This sniper is fucking nasty. Another tango. You were over here making people do gymnastics, dude. I got eyes on a sniper. Class zone, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Uh, keep up the great content, bro. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Alarm over here. Off. Got a decent bit of bullet drop out past uh, some range, though. They got alarms rigged up. They shut the damn alarm off. Alarm over here. Reinforcements won't be flying in anytime soon. We got the alarms. So we can follow the road in right there. Do a soft breach on the... On that roof would have been clutch, too. That's a supply chopper. Let's hijack it and bring it to the Rebels. So I can't... Sure they'll make good use of it. Sure they would, too. I got it. I'll fly.
Saeed. It's all good, brother. I appreciate you just being here, man. Rebels are going to have to go without for a bit. You guys smell that? Christ. Fuck is it. Death, man. Fucking death. I got eyes on El Pozolero. Remember, we need him alive. Got visual on him through the skylight. Get it breach this door here. No. Yep. Yep, we can breach right there, snatch him. Um throw him in this SUV right here. And extract main road. Perfect. Manos Arriba, let me see those hands. Hola, senores. You're taller than the usual delivery people. Wait. Buckle up, people. Yo, cartel gunman. If we're staying overnight, I should probably have me also. You're bear? Like a teddy bear? Oh, it's not what you think. I'm not overly afraid of the dark, but Pepito will think I'm cheating on him. Nidia Flores once gave me a jirafa azul, and Pepito said the nastiest things to him. I had to spank him. Pepito, that is, not the giraffe. Is this guy for real, or is he fucking with us? I think he's fucking for real. Something kept his mind from growing up the whole way. Do all Americans curse as much as you do? I'm supposed to wash away an American this week, but he hasn't arrived yet. Not that it would matter to me if he cursed much or not. I just do my job. I don't judge other people. Wash away an American? You mean put this American in a barrel and cover him with lime? Claro que si. Some of the other men with guns, they call me El Pozolero, the stew maker. But I don't make stew. I, I don't even eat stew. You just dissolve bodies in barrels of lye. Great. I bury them too. Sometimes. Why are you looking at me like that? It's not like I kill these people. Pepito would never let me do that. Why wouldn't he? Because it's not part of my job, of course. Are you sure we can go back for Pepito? I'm sure. Don't worry. We'll let him know there weren't any giraffes or any other animals. Gracias. No doubt he'll still pout about being left behind, but... If you say it can be helped, then I suppose it can be helped. This point, I'm kind of feeling for this dude now. Yeah, post. The only way you could do the sh um, the, the the gifted memberships thing, brother, is um, you have to be on a PC. For some reason, they don't allow you access to it on uh, the mobile version. There it is. That was yeah. That went pretty smooth, guys. Diego Morales, district court judge, disappeared on his way home from work. Octavio Rodriguez, student activist. Kidnapped by a gang of armed men outside a local bar, 
never seen again. Mirabel Castro, school teacher. Last seen at an Unidad checkpoint in Santa Cruz. I remember her. She had beautiful skin, like an angel. There's a thousand more like them in this stack, you son of a bitch, and that's just this year. Every one of them had a family. People out of their minds with grief because their loved ones are gone. But they were dead. What else could I do? Midas thinks he's got the mind of a child. Probably has no idea what you're talking about. Well, he better have a fucking photographic memory. I want the names of every single person you put in one of those drums. I don't care how long it takes. Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. Then you will take me back, verdad? I must get back to work. Damn, this poor dude, man. Uh, Grim Dog, I didn't see a super chat pop up. I can handle stupid and I can handle grim. Grass. Oh, like uh, recent. Advantage. He's not exactly stupid. He's emotionally underdeveloped. He didn't learn the proper way to react to the dead. Like his brain broke? He's disassociating. Exactly. I, for one, am not going to let my. La Plaga's response to the attacks proved he did not understand that the most basic function of a drug trafficking organization is to make money. What does your father do? He's a halcón. A lookout? Si. He hasn't been doing his job, has he? I don't know. Killing innocent people does not help you. Just the opposite. It alienates the people you need most. It sends them into the arms of your enemies. Who is really your brother? Tu carnal? The man you grew up with? Fought with? Bled with? Grew rich with? Or some guy whose mother got fucked by your father? La Plaga has gone too far. You know what you must do. I thought it was only fair to let Del Muro take care of his little brother. He would do it quickly, mercifully. Nothing like what I saw in the videos. I am not my brother's keeper. That's the Bible. That's God. Run. El Mudo chose to go against the word of God. Damn, you didn't kill him, dude? Ignacio Perez Cervantes, also known as La Plaga, the Plague. Head of security for Santa Blanca, and the little brother of El Muro. El Muro had him trained well. Paid off guys in Russia's Bodark Special Forces group to teach him combat tactics. Sent him to learn killing techniques from death squads in El Salvador and Honduras. Apparently, he was a good student. His favorite subject? Cutting off a person's face, then showing it to them. Back in the day, it used to be wow, that the shit. criminals hid, and the good guys tried to find them. Grim Dog with the, the super chat, brother. Thank you so much, man. He does everything he possibly can to be seen. The guy is a social media machine. He pays narco corrido bands to write songs about him. He has his own personal camera crew. This fuck even has his own YouTube channel. La Plaga is a walking recruitment message. Young people see what he has and want it. The guys want to join. It'd almost be funny to see a guy who spends three hours a day sending dick pics. Except half of what he posts aren't messages to his followers, but messages to his enemies. There's only one way to stop the plague from spreading. You cut it off from society, then watch it die out. Damn, the plague is the real deal, isn't he? Yeah, I never really, uh, I haven't looked into security yet. The Santa Blanca Security Forces. Run by El Muro, childhood friend and personal bodyguard to El Sueño. El Muro means the wall, as in no one gets over it, no one gets under it, no one gets around it. SBC security forces recruit hard and train harder. 
instructors from Israel, South Africa, Russia, and unfortunately, even the good old U.S. of A. Polygraphs, first of every month. Pass, you pick up your paycheck. Fail? Yeah, don't fail. Even so, El Muro has a polygraph yeah. system of his own. These Sicarios, aka gunmen, get intense training in marksmanship, surveillance, driving. Two thirds wash out to become Hakones. The guys who make it get assigned to various regions as enforcers, guards for labs and shipments, hitmen. Some become drivers, surveillance specialists, spies, and torturers. Just below El Muro is Santa Blanca's head Sicario, the Plaga, the Plague. You may ask, how does a show-off party boy rise to be the second in command of Santa Blanca security? Answer, sperm. La Plaga is El Muro's little brother, but don't kid yourselves. He's the nastiest motherfucker on the internet, and yes, I have been on 4chan. Don't worry, you'll see what I'm talking about. Our security infrastructure was being attacked. It made me question if La Plaga, our head sicario, was up to the task, or if he was too distracted with social media antics. Are you too busy chasing pussy on the internet to do your fucking job? Or is fucking your job? No, Hifi. He's my brother, Sueño. I will keep him in line. La Plaga got the message too well. He doubled down. Whoever's behind this, know that we will find you. Know that for every one of us you kill, we will kill ten civilians at random. There is no such thing as innocent to me. The little pendejo had no idea how much damage he had just caused. Oh, shit. La Plaga's response to the attacks proved he did not understand that the most basic function of a drug trafficking organization is to make money. What does your father do? He's a halcón. A lookout? Si. Sí. He hasn't been doing his job, has he? I don't know. Now it makes more sense. Killing innocent people does not help you. Just the opposite. It alienates the people you need most. It sends them into the arms of your enemies. Who is really your brother? Tu carnal? The man you grew up with? Fought with? Bled with? Grew rich with? Or some guy whose mother got fucked by your father? La Plaga has gone too far. You know what you must do. I thought it was only fair to let Del Muro take care of his little brother. He would do it quickly, mercifully. Nothing like what I saw in the videos. I am not my brother's keeper. That's the Bible. That's God. Run. El Mudo chose to go against the word of God. Yeah, now it all makes sense, guys. Francisco Ricardo Munguia. El Mudo. The wall. The wall between me and my enemies. The wall between me and death. We were born hours apart in the same village. As boys, we were as poor as the rats that scrambled across our dirt floor. Our huts in the shadows of the hilltop mansions, where the narco bosses lived like conquerors. El Muro took a different path. He joined the army. Special forces. He rose through the ranks, helped to protect the local narcos, was paid in cocaine and money along with promotions. When we met again, Francisco hermano, why are you still in the army? You and me together, we could rule. We will protect each other as we did when we were boys. We will share like brothers. There we go. All right, so we got him down. Um, what was it? A little behind on the the story on that. So where are we gonna go now? Media Luna. We already got a quest, a mission here to start this. Um, 
Now, this area has a lot of Unidad in it. I believe this is the Unidad part of the cartel. Like, this this is where the Unidad and uh, the cartel kind of link up. So, let's, let's see what the... They said about this area. Intel on this guy is sketchy at best. The cartel and the Bolivians call him El Comandante. Age unknown, birthplace unknown, real name unknown. An officer in Unidad, Bolivia's military police, El Comandante made a name for himself hunting down rebels. The rebels had something of a foothold in Media Luna until El Comandante and Unidad arrived in force. It was a slaughter. Rumor has it our boy personally took a few scalps as souvenirs. On paper, he's a lieutenant colonel. In reality, he wields the kind of authority reserved for legends. And he's been using that authority to put Unidad to work for Santa Blanca. But the way he's been insinuating Unidad into the cartel's operation should make Sueño worry. If it were up to him, Sueño wouldn't work with anyone from Unidad. His problem is the rebels. You can't fight what you don't know. And if there's one thing El Comandante knows, it's the rebels. Without him, Media Luna would be in rebel-controlled territory. Like all good frenemies, Sueño keeps a close eye on El Comandante, careful never to let down his guard. Here we go. <clears throat> That's what we're going after right now. Really? Weapon to the my west. What weapon was it? There was a couple weapons in there that I wasn't very interested in. But um, what weapon was it, Rickster? Big news. So when you told them Moreau to take out the. Yeah, there's uh, the PSG. Yeah, there's a couple weapons in that town, but nothing that nothing left that I'm interested in at the moment. I think we already got the goodies out of Media Luna too. Okay. We've got to find a way to break the secret alliance between Santa Blanca and Unidad. Start digging in Media Luna. Get me some intel we can. Saga. But instead of killing his kid brother, El Muro's trying to sneak him out of the country. So Swinia's right-hand man is turning against him. Even better. We know where La Plaga is. Let's wrap this up. I'm tired of execution videos. This will be our pleasure. No, 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 no. We can't go we can't go after La Plaga yet. Not yet. I asked Pakatari to send us a vehicle. A little neutron. I, I always they ask that question. You know what I mean? Um, a lot. Is it is it better to be feared or loved? And so and and, and little neutron said it. It's better to be feared than loved. But what you don't understand is why, why pick one? Because the thing is, is if you're loved, people are gonna fear that. You know what I mean? Like people are gonna fear the fact that you are so loved by others that they can't they can't do anything to you you know what i mean so technically if you're loved you, you get the best of both worlds compared to if you're just feared people are just scared of you they have no respect for you they have nothing um love definitely has a lot more power behind it it even has fear behind it um so yeah you get you get the best of both worlds that's why you know when we were when we were in afghanistan and stuff you know our our united states military's model 
was hearts and minds. You know what I mean? And no, not two in the heart, one in the mind, because that's what other people think. You know, it, it was hearts and minds. We would um, uh, we would we would try to get the people to to like us, to love us, because. You know, it, it just, it was it, like, yeah, we could go around and wave our big guns and people would be scared. But trust me, you, you make so much more progress. Uh, the Taliban feared the love that the civilians had for us because they knew it'd be harder to manipulate them. Um, depending on, uh, it'd be harder for them to manipulate them depending on, you know, what we had going on, the relationships we had going on with the civilians. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Yeah. Gotta be careful here. So these are, I'm going to be hitting all Unidad bases to the, uh, in this. And this area sucks, man. I don't even have good land over here. A lot of... Were you hoping for something fancy? Tell Commandante. I was expecting muscle. It don't got racing stripes, but it might have muscle under the hood. I suppose. Proceed with caution. All right, let's see what we got going on here. drone. I see a second target. Unidad bird on patrol. Watch out. Sniper, top of the tower. That makes five. Sniper up in the tower. Oh, three guys in the tower? And shit, that sucks. Two of them and the captain all in the same tower. Roger that. Move it. Let me get a good sight line. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Roger that. Target marked. Target acquired. Standing by. Ready. Call the shot. Got it. Sniper, down, down, sniper! Shit balls. Engaging tangos. I don't know how the fuck we got spotted there. Let's get in the base. Uh, 
Damn, there's so much fucking unit data up there. That's crazy, bro. Yo, this is the thing about Unidad, man, is they, they can fight and they're... They got some tanky armor. Good guns. Fucking and it almost has like a... They almost have a star system like fucking GTA. Loving a flashbang. Fuck. This is crazy, man. You're gonna be all right, you hear me? I'm on the way. Yo, there's so many guys over there. Frag out, get some. Frag out. Only that chopper, stay low. Gotta get inside. Fucked, guys. This is really bad. Helicopter, get down. I put a call to the rebels for a diversion. I call for some rebels to back us up. I call Pakatari for. Copy that. Shut out. I can't believe how bad that got. Yeah, we're going to be playing Breakpoint after we beat um, Wildlands. There were so many guys. See, yeah, so with these Unidad bases, you definitely got to just take them down and make sure that nobody gets alerted because, yeah, the second you got that alert going, you're done. Uh, 
Thanks. You will be playing the division. Yep. We've got enemy activity nearby. Yo, eyes on the grunt near the helipad. See? Got another tango. See about drone is airborne. Go through this back side here. That's all clear. I want to make sure I watch the bodies I drop this time. Got it. Okay. We, we can't I need a position. afford to get seen by anybody. I've got the target. Copy. Target marked. So it's only the two more dudes down here, but I'm pretty sure if I shoot him, maybe the Sniper. snipers up top will see it. Let me get a good sight line. Say the word, boss. That's one less bad guy. Oh, hell, they found their buddy. Sniper, take cover! I'm asking the rebels to draw their attention. Okay. We're all right. We're all right. We're not all right. Fuck. Just hold on, man. I'll be right there. God damn, that was close. Opening fire. We're going to have to restart. Hang on, I'm coming. Uh, fucking hell. Enemy down. Tell me something good or I blow a canal through your head. Tranquilo, tranquilo. I have something very good. El Comandante has taken a Santa Blanca Lieutenant for prisoner. He's using him for information on the cargo. Got it. El Comandante, he searches for the cargo witnesses. Where's this prisoner now? He's in a convoy, being transported to headquarters. You'll be okay, I'm on my way. Folded buttstock for the assault rifle. Hemos 
perdido contacto con el enemigo. Retírense, repito, retírense. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Convoy's right here. Santa Blanca prisoner by convoy. If we can get to this guy and cut him loose, he'll rat on El Comandante in a heart. We're good, we're good. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. I'm engaging takers. Now that ain't gonna work. We're gonna have to set up a legit ambush. Yeah, we're gonna have to set up like a legit ambush and like take that out pretty systematic. Thanks. Shit balls. Let me get close to this guy. Wife over here making popcorn. Shit smells so good. There it is. We're dead. She hooked it up, guys. Man down, man down. Grenade, move, move, move. Okay. Grenade, move. There's no way, dude. This is going to be hard. Yo, security is definitely the hardest. Uh, well, this Providence is probably the hardest. Because it forces you to fight Unidad. And Unidad is a pain in the ass. we go. <laughs> go EMP drone. Deploying drone. in a tango. It's got a lot of background.
Tango knows somebody's got a bead on him. Moving to position. I put a call to the rebels for a diversion. Calling for indirect fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fuerzas enemigas probablemente en el área. This is... That was a pretty good ambush, but when I shot the dude through the window, it didn't kill everybody. I don't know where the hell I was aiming right there. has to be one of the hardest missions in the game. This is Sam Fisher hard, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for almost 400 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. See if we can hit this damn ambush proper this time. The drone is up. Got the target acquired. Opening fire. He's dead. Think we got him. Got no unit that alert. Go 
keep up, amigo. Unless you'd rather stay behind. Why the rescue, culero? I get the vibe you're gonna kill me anyway. Depends. You gonna be good? Shit! Let me go and I'll show you how good I am, puto! Pinche puto! I'll fuck you up, cabron! Sure you will, amigo. Got it. I tried sink shot and it, it, I can't sink I wasn't able to sink shot anybody other than the uh the turret gunners. It didn't let me sink shot the drivers. I was clicking away and it, it didn't it didn't work. Rebel radio broadcast unit. Let's activate it and get their message out. And then dig in for a fight. Those things are like party invitations for SB goons. Let's grab this dude. <laughs> see, let's see What's my favorite watching. food in general? Um, like mac and cheese, pizza wings, those Bye. top tier. Listo. Uh, what the hell you want with me? Bye. Yeah, kill the, me or what? my wife's That's mac and cheese is. I can't even eat other mac and cheese anymore, guys. Tell for me. What do you want me to say? Tell your boot on shit. Tell everybody that'll listen. That El Comandante can't be trusted. He's looking for a way to stab the cartel in the back. Whatever you say. I'm gone. I got one narco. I don't see him. Near the food container. All objectives complete. We're done here. Let's keep moving. Got him. I actually have a mission here. Oh, no, we gotta leave the area. The body of the Unidad soldier is still in the truck. Bowman, just cut loose a cartel lieutenant. Pull up one is boss that El Comandante is gunning for. Him. That ought to put some pressure on our guy. Make it easier to track. You sure as shit got somebody's attention. Satellite's tracking a hell of a lot of vehicles scrambling out of a Santa Blanca camp near you. Looks like the cartel's going after El Comandante. You got a location for us? I'm pushing coordinates to you now. Just one thing. I want to know who this fucker is once you've taken him down. Get me a clear picture of El Comandante's space and upload it so I can... Damn. Copy, copy that. I'll try to keep him pretty for you. All right. Now the thing is, even if we are able to get a long range kill here, we're still gonna have to get close and identify the body. Yo, lasagna is pretty top tier too. We had a thing, right? So my wife was, uh, you know, we she would always make lasagna for um, holidays, you know, Christmas and shit like that. So she'd make the lasagnas and, um, one day I just asked her because the thing is I love lasagna. Lasagna is mad delicious, and I was just like, "Yo, how about we just like make some lasagna?" And she's like, "We can't." And I'm like, "Why?" And you know, she's like, "Because lasagna is for holidays." And then I was like, "But we're like grown ass adults, and like we do what the fuck we want." You know what I mean? Like, like we could do what we want. You know, we could eat turkey. Or, you know, we don't just. Be, it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving. If we want to eat a big ass turkey with mashed potatoes and gravy, and you know, and it's all, and then she was just like, "Yeah, you're right." So then she started making um, lasagnas just like randomly, like it, it was pretty. It, it changed our lives, but you know what I mean? It's like you got all these foods that are tied to like certain holidays and shit, and it, like like she has like these these uh like what are those the little honey balls you make? Truthfully. Yeah, she like she like makes struffoli for 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 Christmas, and 
she's like, oh, you know, I can't wait for Christmas so I can make Struffly. And I'm like, yo, you, like you could just make that shit whenever the fuck you want because you're grown. You are grown. Like we don't have nobody here telling us what to do. The cartel's going after El Comandante. Like, we can eat this is dessert before dinner. And blame it on El Sueño's <laughs> people. Kill El Comandante and get me a photo to ID him. You know. In my 30s and still, you know, we still gotta, we still gotta follow the rules, you feel like. You know what I mean? All right, we're gonna try to go high ground here. I'm taking the bike. Go on, I'll meet you. We got hostiles in the area. Eyes on a new dead grunt. Close to the sand launcher. Oh good, oh good. <laughs> the reason with the super chat that that's exactly how I started eating breakfast for dinner. It's 10 p.m. and I'm like, I want some damn pancakes. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, we're grown guys. You know what I mean? If it's if it's if it's midnight and you're like, you know what? I want some fucking waffles with some eggs sunny side up. Hey, you're grown. Do what you want. All right, so this base is huge. They got APCs down there. Oh. Attack choppers, guys. This is this is no drone jammers. Drone is airborne. Got SB trading shots with Unidad. Commandante's secret moves are out in the open. Our message got through. We got one last message to send. Let's move. Now the thing is, Unidad is gonna or Santa Blanca is gonna be here fighting, so maybe that will be uh there it is. Yeah, they're going at it. So we can take advantage of the chaos. Hand me the hand me hand me the big the hammer, guys. Gotta have the team hand me the hammer. <laughs> Gotta have him hand me the hammer. Trying to look for an entry point back here. There's actually doorway right there, which is clutch. Post on seriously. Thank you so much for another super chat, dude. Slip the idea in your wife's brain about chicken parm and green chili cheeseburger. Yo, she actually was just watching uh uh remember the, the 
video I sent you that had the chick. But she's not a huge cream sauce person. I love like cream sauce, like the um no no chicken parm. I'm thinking chicken alfredo. Huh? She, yeah, she makes chicken parm. We haven't had chicken parm in a bit. No. I was gonna say yeah, she's done chicken. I I started thinking chicken alfredo. Dropped him. Let's get in here. Oh shit, I can't. There's a fucking fence here. Wounded that bird on patrol. Watch out. Let's see if we can find a point we can get through. Fence is down on that back side. We just gotta watch for snipers, because that's a really, really big open field right there. Well, post on, dude. Seriously, thank you so much, man. You've literally... You've done so much to it. You don't understand, man. There's a sniper. Unidad bird approaching. Stay down. We got him. Why are these guys? Roger, let me get in position. Roger, target acquired. Fuck, engaging. So far, the Unidad's still not on me. Did you guys see the spying rate of this sniper rifle? It's absolutely insane. They got alarms picked up. The alarm is disabled. Alarm over here. Santa Blanca already done? I was really depending on them being like a consistent... <laughs> consistent threat for the uh, Unidad soldiers. Alright, so there's a command building. Probably be our best bet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, now that we're in here, let's... Uh, Corey, how you doing? I've got eyes and I'll come and hold on.
I've called the rebels for reinforcements. They're calling some IDF. I called the rebels for mortar fire. I've got eyes on El Comandante. Let's take this fucker out. Copy that. To get close. Fuck, man, these dudes are no joke. Frag out. Making us work for this one. Right, let me get a boob tube. Shot up in here. I'm asking the rebels to draw their attention. I'll call for some rebels. Sorry for some mortar fire. Man down. Just hold on to your shit. Man down. Man down, man down. This is really bad. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. You'll be fine, man. I'm on my way. Frag out. Copter, get down. Thank you. We got a fucking man down. Grenade! Grenade, get to cover. Get Helicopter, the dirt down. down. Uh, 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 uh. Copter, get down. Helicopter, get down. They got us pinned down like this is. Yo, we need some heavy, heavy support to get out of this, but the Unidad, it's like GTA stars, man. I put a call to the Rebels for a diversion. I called the Rebels for reinforcements. I can't even move across, if I try to leave it, I'm gonna just get hit. 
So I gotta try to Stand shoot. Like, I can't even hey, peek, move, man. Move. Hey, move. We got a man down. We have max Unidad level now. Grenade, move, move, move! Grenade, move! Knew it. Best bet for this mission is, um... We're gonna have to do a fucking uh, super big airdrop. Oh yeah, this is a stealth game, Jason. The I just failed. I I I thought that I was gonna be able to take advantage of the the drug cartel attacking the military, and I ended up getting myself in a. Yeah, I know I should have swapped weapons. LMG uh, would have been probably way better in that scenario, but I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. There we go. Post on again with another super chat. Get Crystal to do green chili cheeseburgers the right way. Uh, you have to roast the green chilies first. She, yeah, she she cooks the the. No, what are those peppers that you roast? The long hot. That was, that was the ones I was thinking about. Yeah, she does the the long hots. Um. And uh, DC Mule says uh, fifty kill. Uh, wall banger. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about using the the. So does the fifty in this game actually have anti-material properties? I've never actually tried to shoot somebody through a wall with it. But and the thing is, is even if I did hit him through the wall, I still would have had to gone to the tower there and confirm the kill. So that that was the main issue. So we're gonna have to go real high in the sky here. Oh, pilot. Issue is there's Sam's everywhere. Like literally there's one right there. I'm on. Like we're gonna have to like definitely hey ho this bitch. I think I might better go up here. Julian with the five gifted members. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Long Hots, uh, Serrano's, same thing. I, I don't know, dude. Huh? Oh, you got me. You type that thing. Huh? Oh. No, she said they're not the same. Julian, look, thank you so much. I really do appreciate uh, the five gifted members. That's so huge. It really means a lot. All right, so I don't think that this, I don't know how this is going to work out either, but we're going to try. And we didn't have to go too far away, so I don't have to do a hey ho. We could just halo jump.
Please tell me this is one of the hardest providences in the, in the, in the game. Uh, we're pretty close, guys. Like, so far, this... We've already taken out all of this. Um, and just these guys left. We're working on him right now. This area is ridiculous, though. It, it's really, really ridiculous. Um, I tried to halo jump into there, but now I'm thinking maybe we're just gonna have to jump into a different location. So I tried to land right on top of the building. That's not happening. Um, so we're gonna have to probably drop into a different location, which is fine. So, and we'll just have to move to him. But at least we'll be able to start off into the. So we tried sniper the first time, but the issue is uh, the the cartel attacks this base, and the and the, the the military guys are literally all over the place. They're everywhere, and they're very really hard to keep track of. Hit the dirt helicopter. You really ought to let me drive. Try to land on that backside then. Dad bird approaching. Stay down. What's with the alarm? Shit, we got a sniper. Fuck, sniper. Where's the target? I guess he wasn't as badass as he thought. Let's take off that mask and get Bowman her photo. 
Oh, he was downstairs. Sniper, get the fuck down. They got him. Get down. Bowman, we've got that photo you wanted of El Comandante's face. Sending it now. His name's Miguel de los Monteros. We're gonna take this APC. This is our this is our way out. Looks like the big wigs in the capital sent Miguel to Media Luna. I'm guessing he had a secret mission to take over Bolivia's cocaine trade. Looks like we ruined the party for everybody. Something tells me the big boys in La Paz won't be happy with us. Let's see who you really are. Nope. Sniper. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be the Grenade. driver. Grenade, get to cover. Yo, how do you change? Is there a way to change seats, guys? Without getting out and getting back in? Grenade! Grenade, get to cover. Hit the dirt, helicopter. It's gonna blow. Fucking sniper's got a zero. God damn it, the cartel sent reinforcements ready to fire. Helicopter, get down.
no hay señales de Mad. Clear on my side. Hey, that, that was tough. That was tough. So we got security there and security there, so we're gonna... Let me see. What the hell? Yeah, so General Barrow. So did we get a new, uh... Video? Keep up with the story here. Do we get a new video? Nope. Thought we would have. All right, so we're gonna head down to Lord Del. Now the only issue is, for some reason, for this area, I recall there being a lot of. Uh, Uni dad in this area too. That was crazy. They 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 were putting the uh they were putting some pressure on us there, one hundred percent. Uh, that was my squad that was with me right there, yeah. Okay, so we're in this new AO. Um, we had a mission here. Let me see. Let me, uh, get the briefing. General Barrow. Major General Barrow is a patriot. He runs Unidad, the Bolivian military police force from main operating base Jaguar in Florida Oro. When Santa Blanca first arrived in Bolivia, they went to war with Unidad. Innocent civilians got caught in the crossfire. The death toll was tremendous. Faro had seen a lot of death in his life and was desperate to bring peace back to his country. So he brokered a backroom deal between El Sueño and the Bolivian government. Unidad agreed to look the other way and let Santa Blanca run their business. In exchange, the cartel promised to keep their killings to a minimum. Obviously, the results have been a mixed bag. The relationship between Santa Blanca and Unidad is tense. Now that Bolivia has become a full-fledged narco state, I believe that he is starting to regret his decision. Major General Barrow is either one of our most dangerous enemies or our greatest ally. There's only one way to find out which. Gotta grab him. Okay. Unidad's darkest secrets are hidden on a server at Mob Jaguar. Infiltrate the base, hack the server, and get me those <laughs> files. I'm going to turn these assholes inside out. Oh, yeah, you know, let's just infiltrate a base. Should have did some scouting. We're gonna do this at night. Yeah, just infiltrate a base, and this base looks huge. Guys, look at the size of this. There's a nice cliffside here, though. Florida Oro. The trees there may be pretty, but that province is the heart of Unidad corruption. We want to break up the love affair between Unidad and the cartel. That means taking down General Barrow. The commander of Unidad. How hard is he to get to? We've got no leads on the general's location, but we've got word of a data center at Unidad's mob Jaguar. Our source tells us it's chock full of informed personnel. It may even tell tales about some of Unidad's less than savory operations. Sounds like a good place to find leads on General Barrow. I'm sending you the location of Mob Jaguar now. They've probably got the data center underground to keep it cool. And our source couldn't get us any password access, so you'll have to hack in. Of course. 
I'll pilot. Chris C with the super chat, man. Thank you so much. Good More likes. Hey, I appreciate it. We almost have 500 likes, guys. That is huge. And Chris, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I really appreciate you, man. A depth perception, guys, from the uh, from the NVGs. I, I was a little closer to the ground. <laughs> the ground. <laughs> the ground was a little closer than we thought. There it is. Let's grab intel before we drop in this time. Because I, I wanted to land on that roof, but that roof would have sucked to land on anyways. Because uh, there was enemies there. I had to jump out, guys. I, I was close. This shit almost hit us. The drone is up. Okay, let's focus on the mission. I'm seeing rail lines coming in and out. Watchtowers, warehouses. Is that a heliport? If Bowman's intel is up to snuff, the data center's somewhere underground. Let's go find the basement. Okay, so we're looking for an underground access point. Drone jam. The all bad. They're jamming the drone. I see a rail right there, but I don't think that's... Mm. Be in like a cave front. This shit was just fucking jammers, man. I don't see anything on this wall. Oh, right there. Yep, I see the entrance right there. Push down. Kind of skirt this back line here. Come up and insert. That way the issue is once we get in, we're not gonna have access to moving to position get to a better position. We're not gonna have access to my drone anymore.
behind me? Well, there's another entrance behind us? Oh, there is- Oh, hold on, yeah, 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 look at this, cause... These two locations connect, don't they? Robbie Rodriguez, thank you so much for the super chat. I really do appreciate that. How you doing tonight? So where the hell is the entry point here? What if Yo, it's in the shaft? Died with a minigun near that fuel tank. Yeah, for sure. issue is um, getting in this area we need a unidad vehicle in order to breach that gate Yeah, that's going to be one of those gates that only open for a Unidad truck. Now, I can actually call in a, a Unidad truck, but I see a dirt bike over here. I wonder if that's a Unidad dirt bike. Sniper up in the tower. Might be a Got the bike. Only dad vehicle, maybe? We'll see. Hold up. We got hostile activity. Yep. Data center may be down here. Let's see where this tunnel leads us. It's a hell of a fucking. Follow, man. Holy crap. Hey, 
Hey, I don't need that soldier. Where you got him? The fuel tank, see? Let's see if we can get some intel on where we gotta go before I start and what this area looks like. I got another. Here's the terminal with access to the main system. There it is. There's up on this side. There's nobody on the platforms. Soldiers are down low. Um, when is the next Plague Tale playthrough? Uh, not tomorrow. I believe the day after. Robert, thank I you mean, so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Upload all these files to Bowman. There's a shit ton of data here. Data transferring. Maintain the perimeter. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. If I would have known this, I would have set up some mines. Down. Come on, come on, come on, with the transfer. Fuck, dude. Shut <laughs> forward with the super chat. So we have to wait for an otter day. <laughs> there it is. This shit is not easy. Um, I don't like the placement of being up on it, like, because I can't watch two directions at once, and the AI isn't the greatest. Come on, I think we're done. I don't think they're going to get me up. Come on, dude. Give me up, bro. You're right there. Hang tight. I'm heading your way. Expecting visitors, or are they just paranoid? If they're flexing their muscle, it's working. Should have brought a bigger rifle.
placing a mine for our Sicario friends. Yo, I'm placing a mine over here. Wait, let me... I'm engaging takeoffs. Shit, take cover! Man down, man down. Shit, man down. Where the fuck? So I'm going to go up top, and then I'll go down the side and drop the mines. That way I don't get spotted right away. Yo, I'm placing a mine over here. Wait, let yeah, me place a mine. Too far. Oh, they could see me through the terminal with fucking to the floor, system. dude. Placing a mine for our Sicario friends. I'm in. Full security while I upload all these files to Bowman. There's a shit ton of data here. Engaging tangos. This is my guy. Man down, man down. Fucking hell. Get the hell out of there. I should have waited. Shit, man down. 
Yo, it's not fair these motherfuckers can just shoot you through the floor, dude. I almost want to just go down and de and defend from the ground, man, because at least they, they I know they can only come from. Thanks. But they can't Good. shoot me from Boba's below. Got everything worth getting. Let's go. Fuck out of here. Got some mines covering our six, so we should be okay. Hunt. We also found information that assets we have placed within Unidad may be exposed. Somehow, some Santa Blanca mook found out who they are, and he's planning to name them to a Unidad captain named Iglesia. You have to... Here it is. I was just trying to get out. You know what I mean? I thought that would be the easiest way to get out. I think we still got credit for the mission, so it doesn't really matter, but... It still sucks. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage. I don't know if it's maybe because I have the tier mode back on. No worries. Or, make this quick. We also found information that assets we have placed within Unidad may be exposed. Somehow, some Santa Blanca mook found out who they are, and he's planning to name them to a Unidad captain named Iglesia. You have to silence this cartel informer. We got a location on the target? Negative, but we have a location on the Unidad captain. Find him, tail him to his meet with the Santa Blanca informer, then take out the informer. Roger that. Let us know if you pull anything else from that data hack. Yeah, I don't know, because before we were pretty efficiently able to do the firefights, um, this is starting to feel like the, uh, it's starting to feel like the, whatchamacallit, the extreme difficulty again. And the enemies are, like, pretty tanky already. And we're only on, what, tier 48? Uh, Big Cartel Tanned Bad, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate the sub, brother. I'm not on extreme anymore, um, K24. I lowered it, uh, so we could get into some firefights. Alright, so let me see here. Um... And now the difficulty feels like it's kind of going back to that i mean it's not as bad as extreme like i can still like take like three shots but um i, I the thing was is i i got this skill here maxed out um where was it bullet resistance and now it just feels like i've reverted back to before i maxed this skill out that, that's what it feels like to me right now. Okay. So. General Barrow's former aide is being held in an Unidad stockade. Break him out and find out what he can tell us about Barrow's current location.
cartel informant has discovered uh, identities of CIA assets within Unidad. The informer will soon pass. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Can we just... Maybe we can just deal with this dude? We'll see. Uh, post on. Thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Shout out to Big Cartel Pet and Bad. Hey, there it is, dude. Post on out here with the shout outs, dude. That's awesome. Okay. One of our agents within Unidad has been exposed. A cartel operative is set to meet with his Unidad contact to give up the agent's identity. We can't let that happen. I'll pilot. Follow the Unidad officer to his meet and eliminate the operative. Too easy. Hopefully we could just snipe him. Hey man, try to take us off some sweet jumps, all right? Airborne. Confirming target as La Unidad contact. It's going to lead us to the Santa Blanca informer. Let's keep us clean and by the numbers. Diga, you have something good this time. That last chip was mierda. Mierda. That means yeah, shit, right? In La how many? Listo, listo. Ten thousand dollars. No, I can't meet there. Meet me at the shack in the mountains. Bueno. I wonder how many assets Bowman has out here. Hell, if they're playing on our team, I'm not gonna complain when we gotta go save them. True. We find the Unidad captain and kill the cartel informer he meets with. Man, it's really taking a gun truck, dude. Get back before they make you.
Look at my guys on the helicopter. I thought he was going to go on that base. That would have sucked. over there. So that's not bad because the mountains across the way I got a good vantage. Yeah, this is definitely it. Eyes on the Santa Blanca Informer. Let's take him out. Tango down, tango down. Cartel Informer is dead. Our Knox and Launi Dad are safe. So I dropped the other guy too. I think they found their pal. The captain, he's escaping. Uh, yes, post on with the super chat. Thank you again, brother. Uh, yeah, we actually uh, were talking about that a couple weeks ago about playing some ARC uh, because you guys told me that it is possible to play single player. We good? Shit got close. You guys said my mic is echoing? Let's say my <laughs> my mic is out of this world. <laughs> For a second there. All right. So we knocked that out. That's two bits already done on General Borrow. He's this this Providence is not that bad, honestly. And then we have uh What is this one? Locate the rebel lieutenant. Yeah, I, I thought about checking out some arc. I don't know. We'll have to see. Like I said, I might do an episode of it at some point. We'll see how it's received by the community. You know, if it's received well and, you know, you guys are smashing the like button and all that jazz. Um, like you guys are here with over 500 likes on the stream. It's so awesome. I appreciate you guys. Um, then, yeah, we would play it. Check it out. Like I said, I'd play it single player probably because um, I know... I don't even know how to do multiplayer, and I'd be probably pretty toxic. So I don't know if this is a military base on the other side of a town here. General Barrow's former aide is being held in an Unidad stockade. It is. Break him out and find out what he can tell us about Barrow's current location. Yeah, they, they show no mercy, guys. No mercy. When it comes to freaking these Unidad bases and security. Like, this is ridiculous. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us.
I got it. I'll fly. Guys, see this place? I gotta break him out of a jail. It's like a ramp there? Or was that to jump over the wall? Okay, issue is... I crashed on the wrong side of the fucking fence. Right now, let's do some recon. Deploying drones. Some ghost recon. Okay, so it doesn't seem like they have a drone jammer on the property, which is awesome. Okay, so that makes this semi-doable. I'll take it. This is the pr a tango. He's close to that local. The prison. So you're talking one fence, barbed wire, strands of sea wire. Access point right there, too easy. Um the door looks locked. I don't there think light panels here. We can hop the wall there. Boom boom. Now this though looks like a full fledged prison. I have not played Generation Zero yet. Actually, uh, Doug brought that up to me um quite a while ago to check out. I watched the video, it looked really, really cool. So that might be a game we check out at some point, too. But post on again, man. Thank you. You don't have to do that, brother. You've done too much tonight, man. Seriously. Yeah, but yeah, I thought about the checking out that one, too. There, there, it, breaking the fence there, but it's too high for me to climb. Okay, we can open the door there to get in. Enemy marked. And then... All right, we're going to have to move a little closer, though. Uh, let me scan this fence for an entry point. Sometimes you can find it, like, right there. Nope, that goes all the way down. It's a good fence, bro. It's a really good fence, dude. Okay. It's a rock there. But I don't think you can't really jump in this game, so I'm not going to do anything for us. Yeah, the perimeter is pretty legit. Yeah. 
the one the one fence in Bolivia that they they don't let. I mean, granted, it is it is the prison, so I get it. Pacatari to send us to you. I spawned my helicopter in the fucking base. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm gonna have to jump. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to jump in from uh and try to land on the other side of the fence. It's a very well maintained fence. Uh, very well maintained fence. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. I mean, fuck thermite. All we need is some damn bolt cutters. I'll fly. It's chain link. <laughs> I'm good. Crank it. All of our breachers and our fire teams, or our squads, they all had fucking bolt cutters. Good run the right side of the fence now. You'll be surprised on how much shit you could cut with bolt cutters, guys. Um, we've caught fences, you know, all types of shit. But yeah, chain link, just a couple some bolt cutters. Dad bird approaching. Stay down. Hit the dirt. Helicopter. You can break a fence and... Hey, we're good. No, you can't really, Tim. You could break fences, really? So I just did all that for nothing? I could have set up some C4 and... Would have made some noise, though. They got some pretty decent security. Let me see. Uh, the drone is up. Ain't nobody, nobody watching. We got hostiles in the area. I got one Unidad soldier near the prison building. The snipers are slacking today, man. I don't even know if they're in the towers. Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, box, box. I was like, I was like, yo. Before I jump over, I want to make sure what we'll see what we're, we're landing. I would have made a nice night op.
I'm spawning another tango. Rob's tango number three. Roger that. Target marked. Opening fire. I got a grunt with a submachine gun. We'll start by that in. mortar. Clear out this sniper tower and the one next door. So we're not the exfil. Sniper. Top of the tower. Sniper up in the tower. Sniper, top of the tower. We got a grunt all by the right. see him. inside the prison building. Let's do some work. So it looks like we can open the door from there. Got another tango. What about here? Yep. Another door opener there. We just gotta locate our target. We can also break the lock on that top. Can go up these stairs, boom up these stairs, come across, drop down and break the lock and do an entry through the, the top here. But we gotta locate our target first of all. And baby makes three. Yeah, I don't have eyes on that soldier from here. on a grunt. He's alone. The prison building. Inside. Target Sniper acquired. The tower. Let me get into position. Got the target. No eyes in the cell. Mr. the rebel. This should be our guy. Let's see what he knows. Yeah. Found our guy. We found what side of the prison he's on, so... When we drop down up here, breaking through this gate, I, I seen a guard standing right in front of his uh, his cell, trying to get him. Oh, well, we actually could come down this side too. Seems pretty clear. Yeah, bro. 
I think it's just the one guard and the one guard here. Got this. Man, had every magazine, dude. Got a helo here that we can extract with too. So our guard that was behind the computer is no longer behind the computer. So let's try to locate him. Situation changed. Take a second, reassess. Both guards have moved. Fuck. Where is the question? They go on break? Like what the hell? Maybe did they really both go to Got a tank. I'm moving to position. Let me find now, a good position. Those are new. Target acquired. Skip Roger. Five. Target acquired. Kill confirmed. They're both really not here. Like I don't know what the hell happened. Clear on this side. What the fuck is going on here? Fuck. Carajo, who the fuck are you? We're your best chance of stopping these motherfuckers. I'm looking for General Barro. Mierda. I used to be on that pendejo staff. He came to my birthday party once, but he's a cocksucker now. Where do we find him? No sé. I don't know where he is. But he has a daughter, the only family that viejo has left. She's a government paper pusher in some speck of a village in Flor de Oro. What the hell name does she use? Ah, Erendira. Erendira Buendia. You can use her to get to General Baru. Gracias. Good luck. Bowman. That former Unidad captain told us that General Baro has a daughter who goes by the name Erendira Buendia. She's living in a village in Flor de Oro, working as a civil servant. I've got the activity working on it now. Get a hold of the daughter. We can use her to urge General Baro to meet with us. She's a civilian, Bowman. We've got her cell phone. I'm sending you the data now. You'll be able to track her yourself. Go get her, then get her father the general. Solid copy. That, that went pretty smooth, I'm I gotta firing. say. Punch it, man. Sniper, top of the tower. I'm not sure Bowman understands who we are. 
asking us to use an innocent woman as leverage. Yeah, she's one of those handlers who thinks we just do wet work. To be clear, we are not harming this woman unless she tries to kill one of us. Roger that. Alright, here we go, guys. We'll push in, we'll do this. The only way we're gonna get General Barrow is through his daughter, Erendira. We can use her as bait to draw Barrow out, but we need her to cooperate. Do whatever you have to in order to convince her. No, Bowman's a savage, you guys. Those CIA boogers, man, they're, they're savages. Daughter should be around. We got two weapons here. Drone is airborne. She's not at the market. Um, if one of these were our house. I think it'd be like one of the really nice houses, man. Being the daughter of the ge general. I mean, these houses are pretty nice. They're just small little one beds, bedrooms. Should be okay now. Nope, there's a dude with a helmet. We're not creeping on old ladies, it's cool. She's in church. Hmm. Oh, maybe this big ass house right here. Yeah, this is gonna be it. She's gonna be in here for sure. This looks like a school. Maybe not. Maybe not in La Escuela. La Escuela? No. Si? Or no. Where the fuck is she then? There she is. Keep in mind, she's our only...
Can't make this shit up, guys. You you really can't. You can't make this shit up. Lead. We need her. And if she don't want to help, like I said, she's our only lead. I went in this fucking house, dude. Ass is asleep. Get up. Get the fuck up. Get up. Pinche la gato, pinche, pinche tu leche. Cállate la boca, cabrón. Mira, mira. Oye. Erendira, buen día. We're looking for General Barrow. Can't believe she was right there, dude. I cannot help you. You can and you will. We know the general is your father. We only want to meet him. ¿Qué? Why should I believe you? Because you don't have a choice. You think the cartel Sicarios are bad? We are the people they have nightmares about. Papa? Some gringos have found me. Americanos. I am not hurt. They say they only want to meet. No! I do not trust them. He says you are malos, peligrosos, but he has given me a location. There it is. We let her go, dude. We don't need. She, she's, she's got. We need her as collateral. Saddle up. We need General Barrow alive, but I don't expect him to be friendly. Want to get to that RV first? What did I say? Some bad words? I just, I just, I just say, you know, like the thing is, is I, I got a lot of Spanish friends, you know, a lot of friends, uh, a lot of Mexican friends. And, you know, I just hear them talking shit. So I just, I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just copy them because it sounds cool. You know, I sound like I sound so mean and legit, you know, even though I have no fucking clue what I'm saying. It's all about the delivery, though. You know what I mean? Like, I say it like I know what I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> RP, keep your eyes open. I don't trust the big man. Wait, you said I love rainbows in Spanish. Sounds cool. How do you say I love rainbows in, in, in Spanish? And you know another thing? I got a lot of Spanish friends. And it seems like there's a lot of Spanish speakers in, in the chat. Yo, it's so funny, right? Because I, I, I go and I ask them how to say like random shit. But yo, how do you say blah, 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 right? And the one thing that I ask people are, and and mad Spanish people just don't know how to say it. Or they, ha or they have like 10 different ways to say it, right? They'll all tell me different things. I'm like, yo, how do you say watermelon in Spanish? So you got some people that would be like, watermelon. <laughs> and then you have some people like, aqua melon. Or, and then there's a whole nother word. I don't remember what the word is. But I can't tell you how many people when I'm like, yo, how many, how do you say watermelon? They're just like, watermelon. <laughs> I'm like, GG, bro. There it is. Just say watermelon. Uh, tu leche is is your milk. I know that's why I say like pinche el pinche tu gato pinche tu 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 perro pinche tu uh, casa pinche tu madre pinche tu 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 leche. You know. 
It's sandia. Yeah, sandia. That that's it, la sandia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Post on with another huge super chat, brother. Thank you so much, man. So la sandia. That's the proper way to say um to say watermelon. There it is. Super, uh, hey, I really appreciate that super chat post. You've done so much, brother. Really. All right, so let's do this, guys. It's not a trap, guys. No, 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 no. We're good. It's the general. The Yankees are proud bastards. Ambush. General, fuck us over. Get him. Yeah. Mierda. Oh, poor fuck, dude. I'm holding fire on these shitheads. Got the helo. It's my guy. Shot the shit out of him. Taking off. Just let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Come on. Please, please, please. Let me up. Please, 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 please. No! Grenade, bro. Please. Please, please. Ah. Come on. We just got to cut him off. We got to cut him off. Hightailing it out of here. Shitballs. Fuck up! Stop that captain from running. Helicopter, get down. Oh, shit, bro. What? How? How do we even do this? Pakatari to send us a over get him so do I gotta kill him at this point I'll fly you know what, what, what do I gotta do no I don't opening fire Turn left here. And we're gonna intercept them right here. Shit. 
shot down the helo. What the fuck? Who shot me? Who shot me? The general? Did the general sh Oh my god, dude. Fuck, he didn't. What took you so long? A good general knows when to surrender. Didn't have to go down this way. Of course it did, Cabron. You threatened my daughter. My only regret is that I did not bring- No, you son of a bitch! Sir, we come to you because we need your help. This is not how one asks for help in Bolivia. This isn't the normal kind of help we're asking. We're working with the rebels. We want to take down the Santa Blanca Fuck. cartel. You can't be happy with how they're treating your country. Do they treat it any worse than the Americans? Sir, your daughter's safe. Whether or not you help us, you are coming with us. Man down. Down. Get down. Chopper. Man down. Yo, man down. Copter, get down. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Silencio, my chain. Man down, man down. Do just hold on to your shit. Man down, man down. Copter, get down. I'm asking the rebels to draw their attention. Help us, and rebels will back us up. Chopper, down, down. Megan's are coming your way. Helos destroyed. Holy fuck, dude. Clear over here. Vale, pendejos. A good general knows when to surrender. Didn't have to go down this way. Of course it did, cabron. You threatened my daughter. My only regret is that I did not bring more soldiers. Sir, we've come to you because we need your help. This is not how one asks for help in Bolivia. This isn't the normal kind of help we're asking. We're working with the rebels. We want to take down the Santa Blanca cartel. You can't be happy with how they're treating your country. Do they treat it any worse than the Americans? Sir, your daughter's safe. And whether or not you help us, you are coming with us. Damn it. I need a vehicle, man. We're gonna have to fucking go all the way down to this town to get a car. Yo, this uni dad shit is 
It's it's hard. It's really really hard because uh, the the Unidad system works kind of like Grand Theft Auto, as in the more you fucking shoot them, the more show up, the harder it gets. So like the best way to deal with Unidad is to just make sure that never happens. But when you get in a situation like that where it's happening regardless, like you're fighting, it, it's it's a pain in the ass, man. We just had to literally extract on foot. We're almost in town here. Oh, dude. Post on. No way, brother. Seriously, that is too much, man. Holy crap, dude. Thank you so much. Hey, you have a great night, dude. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. Everybody, get some hearts in the chat. Post just absolutely showing crazy amounts of love today. And again, congrats on the new job, man. I, I I really appreciate the love, dude. See if we can nab a car from one of these sibbies. Give me one of your cars, sibbies. Here we go. Oh, it's done, guys. Pro extraction right there, right? bit of a trip now the problem is the with these ground extracts is um it doesn't take much to get in a situation where I'm gonna be shooting it out in this damn We're in the clear.
it went the wrong way. Approaching extraction point. Keep your eyes open. This car is a beast. Straight beast. These were good men. You brought them. I was in La Paz trying to speak to the president when you had my daughter call me. I have known for some time that our relationship with Santa Blanca is untenable, but I could not convince the bureaucrats there of our situation. They wouldn't let you speak with the president. No. And I fear that I revealed my intentions to men and women who are already in the pocket of Sueño. But today, corruption is the Bolivian way of life. I've been trading too many shots with Unidad to feel any sympathy, sir. I had wanted order when I made peace with Santa Blanca. But it is an order fueled by corruption and violence against our citizens. That is my responsibility, and I will help make it right. It's an uphill battle. But if you don't want any more violence for Bolivia, for your daughter, we have to shut this down proper. I may have a few loyal officers who are willing to see things my way. Also, I have a friend, a colonel in the regular army. He may be able to help. But all of this is going to take time. Then let's start now. There it is. Nomad, this is Bowman. Beautiful work in Florian Oro. With General Barro turning against the cartel and our own assets protected, shit is gonna get tough for corrupted officers inside Unidad. And for the Santa Blanca friends. Hell yeah. With Barro and his military contacts on our side, you can expect Unidad patrols to get a lot less lenient with cartel members. Way to build tension. Exactly. And give our rebel friends more room to operate. They will be moving on to rougher terrain. I'll be in touch. Nomad out. All right, I just unlocked a gun called El General. Wow, it's a beautiful handgun. It reminds me of uh, Jill's uh, handgun from Resident Evil. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil One. Relax, bro. I'm just trying out a gun. It's not viable because it's non-suppressed, but still a nice looking gun. Oh, we got a new video. Can't suppress it, yeah. El Mudo was going to try to kill me, just as I was going to kill him. Black is for vengeance. White is for safety. Gold is for success. Ahora, I ask you, how can any saint grant contradictory prayers from two different men? It has been my experience that gods always side with the man who has the most money, the most men, and the most power. I had lost the one man I could always trust, mi hermano. How many men would be more loyal to him than to me? How much power would he take? Would that be enough for him to take me out? I would always have an advantage, though. I grew up with the man. I knew how his mind worked. I knew his next move before he did. I just had to be patient. Yeah. Yo, it's going down between them two. That's crazy, though. So all we have left now is um, the unknown Buchan and um, this area here. Um, 
Montreal. That's going to be our next area we hit. I believe this is where I get the MSR from. And we also have Operation Oracle in this area. So there's a lot going on in this last area. We're going to take out them, this, uh, do Operation Oracle. And then obviously we got to go after La Plaga, which I actually could go after him now if I wanted to. But we're not. We're just going to wait. He's right here. So we could go after him, but we're, we're going to wait until I take out this. Then we'll go after La Plaga. We'll take out El, Mor El Moro. And then uh, once these three are done and Operation Oracle is done. All we have left is El Sueño, guys. El Sueño. And there it is. Not that it's probably gonna take a bit though. Like I guarantee, like just taking out um this Buchan in um Monte Oak plus Operation Oracle, that that's probably a stream in itself. <laughs> yeah, especially with the amount of freaking uh Unidad we've been having to face. So I'm pretty sure we still got a decent amount of contact between this. And then even when we do finish all this, guys. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Save Oracle after Sueño. Yep, yep. Because our Oracle is the pre-breakdown or breakpoint DLC. Yep, yep. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do the... Yep, got it, got it. And then... Um, also, then we still have the DLC, the Fallen Ghost DLC that we're going to be knocking out. So that... It, no, there was the, the other DLC that... Uh, that you guys keep telling me that is trash and not worth playing what, what makes it trash um what is it called this narco road dlc With Santa Blanca winning the prize of the world's most successful criminal organization, it's inevitable they have one of the most sophisticated smuggling networks we've ever tried to break. And it's not just narcotics. They smuggle cars, guns, humans, phones, even animals. Ask any hustler on the street, and he'll tell you there's one Mr. Big behind a whole network. A mastermind known affectionately as El Invisible. No one knows his name. No one knows what he looks like. No one knows where he operates from. We had nothing. Until last week, that is. When we picked up a hacker on our most wanted list, Carlos Reguillo. Of course, this black hat didn't like the idea of 30 years sewing mailbags, so started to talk. He tells us that recently, Santa Blanca brought him a PDA to enhance. And while doing this, Reguillo finds it's loaded with every detail of their entire smuggling operation. We believe that operating with just this device and working alone is how El Invisible remains. Invisible. Thank you so much for the so, super chat, brother. I really appreciate that, man. With a MacGuffin we can't just ignore. We need that PDA found along with its owner. We've thousands of suspects, but without some kind of name, a physical description, and a recent location, it's impossible for us to focus on any one person. What I can offer is somewhere to start your hunt. Three powerful individuals and their organizations who have had contact with this mysterious smuggling kingpin. Infiltrate the inner circle of these men and get us the information we need. Is the narco road really that bad, guys? I mean, that sounds like a that we were that we're making our own Sicario. Is that is that is that not what this is? So do you not make your own Sicario and infiltrate and and take down the cartel from within?
The guy looks like Steph Curry with a big ass beard. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I, I'm not really gonna do it right now. K24 says it's just a bunch of boring driving missions. Listen up, Ghost. You're in the middle of Eddie Escovado's territory. His gang, the Kamikazes, are mostly into smuggling drugs for his lavish parties. We've worked on your cover as a mercenary. Eddie knows you're coming. He'll be at his villa. I mean, it seems cool, guys. It seems like we're about to go infiltrate a drug cartel. Complete missions, cartel activities. Okay, this sounds not that... It, it's kind of lost a bunch of coolness right there. All right, but we'll, we'll we'll check it out, guys. We'll we'll see. We'll see. DLC was down to one ninety nine. I still wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. If that's the case, Colorful says I wouldn't recommend it if it was free. <laughs> There's no way it's that bad. So, I mean, the fact that you guys are saying it's that bad is making me want to try it even more. Because I just need to verify this. Like, I need to play it now because you guys said it was so bad. But yeah, that's the plan, guys. Um... We're gonna we're gonna take down um the rest of the cartel and then obviously once we're done with the main game and Operation Oracle or whatever, we'll do the Fallen Ghost DLC and uh we'll you know we'll try the Narco Road DLC and uh we'll we'll see. We'll see. There's no way it's that bad, dude. Like remember this face like because this is one of them the, the moments where i say dude there's no way it's that bad right and then it cl it clips this is to to you know 10 minutes later and then i'm sitting there and it's that bad but i don't think that's gonna happen like there's no way you know how I can you know what we could do guys really quick before we end we could we could check the forums of right here this will tell this is how you you know if it's really bad right um go hidden games cuz I have I freaking bought ghost recon over here and then it doesn't even work uh do, 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 do. Where the hell is Wildlands at? Did I pass it? Nope, it's right there. I always forget that it's not G, it's T, because it's right here. You ready, guys? Narco Road DLC. When I click on this, let's see what it says. Oof. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Overwhelmingly negative, bro. <laughs> Overwhelmingly negative. I didn't even know that was a thing. Not recommended. This has to be the most disconnected, out of place, worthless, and ridiculous <laughs> excuse of a DLC I've seen in a while. Uh, you play a different character, which means it's a different save file. The world you play in is just small portion of the base game map. Uh, the nine new weapons here 
Advertiser just reskins all the items that don't carry over to the main mission. The storyline, although playing as an undercover agent wasn't a bad premises, it delivered in such a bad cringe inducing way possible <laughs> by having uh obnoxious characters, cheesy dialogue, which turned quite annoying really quick, missions that are out of context, bad mission progression mechanics, which involve doing certain maneuvers in game to gain followers. Why on earth does this exist? I don't think I've reviewed any DLC before, but this one is so ridiculously bad. I had to say something. <laughs> Narco Road is quite frankly awful. And I'm saying this as someone who loved the main game. 95 hours into it uh, between myself playing with a bunch of missions with friends. Narco Road seems like a crash course in terrible ideas. Please check the end of the review for the conclusion. All right. Look at this, guys. Recommended. Recommended. Hold on. Hold on. Tone. It's tone deaf. It's stupid. It's entirely out of character. It interrupts your gameplay with stupider than the base game videos. And there isn't a single likable NPC in the game. I like it because it's so bad. It kind of... <laughs> I like it because it's so bad. It kind of wraps around to being good against someone. <laughs> Ooh, yo, that has to be the best <laughs> comment I have ever fucking read, dude. <laughs> yo, how do people come up with this shit? Oh, oh, man, that is fucking funny, dude. That is funny. This one's recommended, too. Do you like driving vehicles in the base game? Do you mind dealing with less a, a less serious storyline? No, not at all. Uh, yes, I like driving vehicles. Do you like the full frontal assault approach to solving problems? Eh, not really, but I guess so. If you answered no to any of those questions, don't bother with it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's worth getting if it's on sale. Guys, we got it. Now we got to try it. it. It just is what it is because people are saying, like, you know, you know how it is. Like when, when something's so bad and, and then Falling Ghost has mixed reviews, which is weird because I, I in chat, I've seen uh, nothing but good things about Falling Ghost. So. But there it is, guys. Oh, no. We got to try it. We got to try it. Like, I can't let something be, like, be said. Like, I can't let people say that something's that bad. And then I just don't try it. We got to try it, dude. Like, we got, like, it, it's, I'm, I, I think I, I would, like, want to play that next stream. But we're trying it. Like we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna freaking try. I'm not saying I'm gonna play the whole thing, but we're definitely gonna try it. All right, guys. But I do want to thank you all for hanging out today. I hope you guys enjoyed all the streams. Um, you know, well over 550 likes on <laughs> that. It's, it's epic. I do appreciate you all. Um, I hope you all have a great night. And uh, tomorrow we'll be doing some more streams. I gotta. Like I said, my games got all weird, so I got I to gotta do some puzzling around. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I, I do appreciate you all. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You all have a great night. If you haven't on your way out, smash the like button. If you guys are enjoying the content, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.